welcome back to another video. Welcome back. Maybe this is the first time you're watching one, so that makes no sense. Oh, well, what are we going to do? So when I first started watching people's videos about showing off their record collection and everything, you know, I saw a lot of people would put like vinyl community and all that, which I wasn't aware that was a thing at the time. This is, you know, whatever, three some odd years ago. And, um, then I also started seeing people talk about v VCLT. And I was like, why, why do they keep saying VCLT? What is that? And they'd be hashtagging VCLT and all this. And, and uh, you know, I had no idea what that was. And then I realized people were showing stuff that they were exchanging, uh, you know, sending each other records and, you know, passing on stuff maybe that they had or maybe they found real cheap and wanted somebody to have this copy which was really cool. It seemed like a really uh, cool thing. Um, I've never got any VCLT. I've sent some stuff out here and there, but I've never uh, gotten anything in the mail ever, uh, which is fine. I don't really look for it or, you know, um, even like, uh, you know, uh, you know, kind of like approach that aspect of, of all this record collecting and sharing our collections and stuff. It doesn't matter to me. It was never, ever something I even pursued or whatever, or even put out there, you know? Um, but you know, I've gotten to know a few people out there through doing these videos. And recently I've been talking to JT up there in Reno, Nevada. JT's record room is the name of his channel. Obviously I shall put a link below, but we've been talking uh, about our collections and making these videos and all this stuff. And, uh, I sent him uh, this band that I discovered over the summer, this band from the 70s uh, called uh, Human Switchboard. And I really liked that record and I thought he might kind of dig it. So I sent him a copy of the record out there and then he in turn sent me some. This is that VCLT day talking about, the love train. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so it was a nice surprise to come home one day and find a nice package waiting for me from JT. And I have not opened it yet, and I'm going to do that now. This is a momentous occasion, my very first VCLT. Aren't we excited? What could be inside? Let us see. All right, first and foremost, got a nice note from him here. Hey, Steve, hope you enjoy these. Also, please find a check for $5,200 inside. Feel free to do with that whatever you want. Thanks a lot for being so cool and showing us all how to make cool videos. Your friend, JT. Now, that's not what it says, but <laughs> wait, where's the check? I don't see no check. But uh, yeah, so uh, nice little note there from JT. He's packed it very well. And let us see what we've got here. Some CDs. As everybody knows I like CDs. <laughs> and a uh, record here, which is cool. So let's go through these one by one. Obviously, I have not listened to these yet. First up, we've got... The Walkman. This is their album, Bowels and a <laughs> Bowels. Ay, 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 ay. And I'm not even on pain meds. Uh, bows and arrows <laughs> uh, from The Walkman. Um, I know of The Walkman. I think I have a couple of, I don't think I have any of their albums, but I think I have a few like digital tracks of theirs. Um, so this should be interesting, you know, I'm not really that familiar with the band. So this is, you know, going to be fun to check out and see who knows, maybe I'll suddenly be out there buying up a whole bunch of Walkman CDs or records. Um, so yeah, that that's a cool one to check that out. Let's see what else we've got in the BCLT package here. We've got tower of power this is uh self-titled i'm um, 1973 i'm guessing maybe this is their debut but as we all know one of my pet peeves bands self-titling albums well into their career so it might not be but uh, something tells me this is their uh debut uh tower of power i'm a 
somewhat familiar with, um, certainly known the name forever, and then um, just recently picked up uh, their album. I think it's um, Back to Oakland. Uh, that was the first one I picked up. The, the reasoning was because, I'm trying to get this booklet out, but it's not that easy. Um, I, I've been from, I knew the name Power, Tower Power all these years growing up. I'd always heard that name and whatever, but I think I was under the impression they were this kind of like jazz fusion-y kind of band like Spyro Gyra or something like that that I had no interest in. And it wasn't until not too, maybe two or three years ago, I saw uh, an episode of Amoeba's What's in My Bag with Huey Lewis, who's from the Bay Area. And that's where Tower of Power's from. And he had, uh, was, was talking about one of their albums. And then they played a sample of one of the songs, I think the Oakland Stroke. And it sounded like this funky kind of, you know, cool, like almost R&B-ish kind of sound to it. And, and it just like, I was like, oh, that's Tower of Power? I, totally not what I expected. And so I went out and bought that record and I really liked it. And uh, I was talking to JT about that and he decided to send another Tower of Power for me to check out. So that's what we've got here. So this should be cool to check out. And this is like, uh, I'm sure this is on Warner Brothers. And early on when Warner Brothers was uh, releasing CDs originally, uh, they would always put these like notes, you know, basically liner notes they'd put in the uh, CD booklets. And they'd also be on like the back of the long boxes that you would buy a lot of times so uh which was kind of neat so yeah this will be really cool to dive into because i'm not familiar other than that one record i have by tower of power i'm not familiar with really any of their other stuff i have a feeling they might be one of those bands where i might hear like a song on here and be like oh i've heard that before but yeah cool tower of power all right jt you're sending some cool stuff here uh next up we've got the pogues and Peace and Love, this is from 1989. Um, I don't think I have any Pogues. I'm, I'm familiar with them. I know a handful of their songs here and there, but I don't own any of their records. So this will be fun to listen to. Just looking at the track listing here. Yeah, none of these titles stand out. This is produced by Steve Lillywhite, the famous Steve Lillywhite. Um, but uh, yeah, this I'm familiar with this cover. I've definitely seen this before. Um, but yeah, I don't know too much about this record. So this again, this will be a fun one. And this, it said 1989. And you know, they're like kind of like an alter alternative band, kind of like, a, I think they're Irish, got that kind of sort of a sound to them. Um, and that's funny because like 89, like that's when I'm like really kind of starting to veer away from a lot of top 40 and like just, you know, mainstream rock and listening to a lot of alternative stuff, college rock and everything. And that's certainly the Pogues, you know, uh, wheelhouse. So yeah, I, I, this is again, like, like I mentioned in the Tower of Power, like this one, I feel like some of these songs I'm going to listen to and be like, oh yeah, yeah, I, I know that one. I've heard that one before. So yeah, cool. Pogues. Nice. That should be fun to listen to. And last up here for the CDs, we've got Lucinda Williams and her record, Car Wheels on a Gravel Road. Um, ha I have one CD by Lucinda Williams that I just picked up, I think last year. Uh, there was one song on it that I knew and I saw the record in a Goodwill and decided to pick it up. And uh, it's pretty good, I guess. It's, I guess people kind of, uh, you know, classify it as kind of alt country. I'm not a country music fan at all. Um, but, you know, this, it's, you know, I, I kind of think of it more as like kind of alternative music. It doesn't really, it's kind of maybe got like a folk kind of sound to it, but alternative rock folk sound to it. I mean, I could certainly understand uh, where people kind of like lump this in with kind of country or call it alt country or whatever, but it doesn't make me think of the country music that I think of when I think of country music. So I think that's why that album I kind of enjoyed. Um, but uh, yeah, this should be uh, really cool to listen to because other than that one record I have, I'm not familiar with any of her 
other stuff and let me just take a look yeah none of these titles are jumping out at me so you know wolf to see when is this from this is from 1998 it looks like so yeah another good one i should be uh, interested in checking out and then we've got some vinyl oh dang this is a uh, brand new how about that we've got pavement crooked rain crooked rain this should be cool i don't have i don't think i have any pavement not even like uh digital tracks or whatever but uh so this should be cool let me pop this open this is 1994 so we've got there's the back if i didn't show it all the track listing and then the insert here we've just got some info here and some more kind of scribbly stuff um so what i was saying is i don't have any pavement i don't think i have any even digital tracks of them um but i do have probably right up here somewhere uh a couple of cds by stephen malkmus who was from pavement i think i'm pronouncing his name right i discovered him originally his solo stuff probably in 2007 maybe or something like that seven seven uh through new york noise the music video show i saw this one video of his and i really dug it went out and picked up the record and then i just sort of started seeing his solo records i'm making all these tongue twisters my start is seeing some solo records uh cds started seeing some solo cds and I just started picking them all up. And I really, really uh, was enjoying them. Uh, and I don't know why. I knew he was from Pavement. But I don't know why I never went, started, like, digging up any of their stuff for whatever reason. Um, so this should be really cool. And really awesome of him to send me this brand new record. There's the vinyl, like all of y'all. The VCLT, you gots to show the vinyl. Or else people will shun you. But there is the record. And again, like I said, I don't really know too much about this record. Um, but yeah, this should be cool. I think I'm going to put this one on first and check it out and uh, give it a listen. But yeah, that's awesome. Pavement. Crooked rain, crooked rain. This is uh, pretty wild, man. I, I really uh, cannot express how much I appreciate uh, JT going to you the trouble of uh, sending me all this stuff, you know, really nice of him to do that. He's a cool dude. Uh, I'm heading out to Los Angeles soon and uh, looking forward to crossing paths with him and maybe uh, going and hitting up some record stores while we uh, wander around town and just hang out for a little bit. Uh, that should be fun. But uh, yeah, if you're familiar with any of these, by all means, let me know some tracks that you dig or let me know what you think of these. And obviously, please go check out JT's Record Room. Great videos, always posting some fun stuff. He's he's like a historian. He shows you around his town and gives you all kinds of information about all these records. He really uh, knows his stuff uh, about all this stuff that uh, he's got in his collection. So thank you again, JT. Can't thank you enough. And uh, thank you for tuning in, and we shall see you another time later on, y'all. I'm part of the VCLT now. Yahoo!